What's going on, everybody? I'm back. Yes, it is me. Look, I took a little break. Kind of just sat there and did nothing for a few weeks. Um, Because I got kind of burnt out also. Yeah, a few other things happened. But I'm back, and we are ready to kick off another grind. Today, I'm introducing a new video type to this channel. I recently found this puppy this claims to be a the smallest video game console in the world um i don't know the way do we will be researching this finding out if that's true but uh here let's just hop right into it okay we got some measuring tape to measure this guy out so, first we're gonna go length. It's about three and a quarter inches long. And then, sorry, that was the height. The length is around two inches. So, three and then a quarter by two. Sure, we can look it up later, see if that is actually the smallest game console. But, um, let's just take some uh, general like knowledge on this thing. First of all, the thing is extremely lightweight. I mean, I could I could probably throw this pretty gosh dang far. Also, um, I don't know if you guys know this, but the way that this thing works, I messed around with a little bit here, but the way that these types of things work, here, I'll even light it up for you. All right, do you see all those? Uh, it's probably gonna be so hard to see, but there's like little squares. And the way these work is that there's a basically a light on the back of oh, the screen. And whenever you input a movement, it lights up a different part of the screen. I kind of like how modern pixels work today well, back in the early days of gaming. Now, this is how consoles like the Game & Watch work, which was Nintendo's first console. And so it's pretty cool to see another little company try it like this and this was made i think last year i just picked it up now let's just look at some general knowledge right here we have some the sound input there's a few different sound qualities um we got the reset switch which just resets the whole thing boot sequence is kind of long then we have the on and off switch and then the start switch now the way that this works is you hit this, oh, and then rotate, which is basically just the general use command, and then the D-pads. This works. You click into this. This is the first thing you see. It's kind of like tanks, I'd say. You click uh, start. Trip, trip, trip. And then you just play the game. Um, as you can see, you can kind of... I am not very good at it. <laughs> um... But, uh, yeah, there's a bunch of different games. I think they advertised around 30. Um, there's, like, some weird platformer that's just, like, the stick man. Yeah, give me a second so I can find it. Look at that. I see those little guys running around. Then there's, like, a Duck Life 2, like, wall climbing-like wall climbing -like thing. I don't know if you guys ever played that game, but the wall climbing minigame. It sort of resembles There are a lot of Atari Breakout on here, just a lot of different versions of it. This looks like the original Breakout, I'd say. And then there's like ones like this, and this, and this. Um, so a lot of different, just like average games that you can just like pull out of your pocket and play at a moment's notice. It's pretty gosh darn sick. Now, I don't know if you guys see this. There's a keychain thing on here, which I'm pretty sure that's what it's advertised as. You can just stick it on your backpack, stick it on your wallet if you have a key strip on there. And if you're ever bored, like in class, just unclip it. Uh, do your homework first, kids. And just like sit in your back of the class and playing a little Game Boy looking thing. Now, it does advertise to be the smallest video game console now let's go look a few things up and see if that's true okay after doing some research i found some very interesting things first of all i made a little oopsie now i'm pretty sure this claims to be the smallest 
handheld console. And the reason I say that is because when I looked it up, I found out one of the smallest consoles is just kind of like a tiny little USB stick that you can just stick on your TV. It's there. It's about one and a half inch by, uh, uh, it's like one and a half inch to, I think it's a complete square that you just slot in. Um, then I did a little bit of due diligence, looked up the smallest handheld console, and I didn't get a single result except for some Pow Kitty article about how they made the smallest. But I did find some images of what claims to be the smallest handheld console, which looks exactly like this guy here. It is different packaging, so maybe a few different companies produce the same thing. I can. Sh I'll show you those images and then I'll go get my box. Okay, so this is, I think, the front of the box. As you can see, it says world's smallest video game consoles. It actually says 50 plus games. I've only seen like maybe 15 we'll look into it on another video where i actually play this thing because uh apparently my tripod's in the mail so i can't really film it that good but uh, it also says on the back world's smallest video game and this is completely different packaging than the one online but it looks like the exact same product so results it is not the smallest video game console but it is the same model of what claims to be this isn't 100% the smallest handheld console apparently they're two different things um now now for my honest opinion on this thing um i got it as a gift but researching online i found like the average price of this is around 12 to 15 dollars and honestly worth if you, it's just like a cool little keychain you can stick it on there if you're ever bored on your you could even like probably slit it it's i bet it's uh, never mind i was going to say you could probably slit it into a phone case but it's probably small if you can slit it in your wallet your backpack any of those things in your pocket i did not recommend that and you can just pull it out whenever you want and just have a fun little game um honestly worth it i'd give it a solid seven and a half out of ten it's good i feel like some bigger better company can make something that's actually you know like an lcd screen with real game inputs that isn't just like lights on the back of pixels but thank you guys for watching comment like and sub and i'll see you guys later bye